What are you trying to do? Are you just trying to break 90 or 100? This is a great bogey hole. Are you trying to break 70? This is a birdie hole. Look at that little butter cutter. Wow, I like it a lot. We have a problem of going over the water now toward the green. We have 220 to the front, 234 to the middle. Can I get inside 30 yards of the green? And if I can, I must go for it. If I can't get inside 30, I want to lay it back in the fairway beyond 80 yards to give me a nice, decent wedge in. I don't want to take a half shot from the rough from anywhere 40 to 75 yards. For me, that's my kryptonite. Well, that is absolutely awful. So let's bring the context into our decision making. We have a 425 yard hole here, dog leg right. With your best drive on a safe line to the left toward the house, do you have enough club on your second shot to get to the green or put yourself in a position to chip onto the green easily without going in the green side bunkers? This context can help you to hit a more realistic tee shot without the expectation of hitting it in two on the stroke index one hole. Stroke index one hole is the most difficult on the course the only people who are expected to score par here is scratch and below. In the context, a bogey is a great score here. Always remember that context. You're not trying to shoot level par. So maybe with these irons, I'm turning them over and it's on the left edge of the green. Not too bad, not too bad. 171 yard par 3. Now what in the context of your game would you expect or would you like from this hole? We could see this hole as a 3.5 par. Get yourself to a position that 50% of the time you get up and down for a 3, 50% of the time you don't, you make a 4. Let's eliminate the 5s. The six pillars of decision making help you get around the golf course. But when you want to improve your swing, how do you do it? We get too much information in the initial phase, especially when we do it ourselves. The easiest way is to get some professional help and Swing Tweaks is a great app that you can do it from the comfort of your own home. Send them a swing down the line and front on. A PGA Pro in the app is waiting for your videos and your description of your game. He's going to assess everything, look at your videos, and he's going to give you the root cause of what's happening in your swing so that you don't need to make this big decision on what to do in your swing, you can outsource it to someone else. Bringing that big decision to the golf course with your own homemade mechanics is a recipe to get in the way of your six pillars of decision making in course management. Use my code GANGBANGER for 20% off your first tweak. Download Swing Tweaks now, GANGBANGER, 20% off, and a Swing Tweak only costs the same as a glove or a sleeve of these AVXs. Listen, listen, Caddy, we're doing conservative strategy here, okay? I can't make hole in one. I can't like freaking hole out all the time. That's only for certain situations. And then we make freaking birdies. And you make a tip. What are you upset about? You, you just want a hole in one, huh? So the problem we have here is OB right. We've got OB left, but it's very far left, internal OB. And once we get over these trees, it's pretty wide open. I have about an 80 yard place to land my ball. So my only option really here with the driver is to pick a line and then implement that line, rejecting all other options. No other shot shapes coming into my mind except a baby draw off the right hand trunk of these trees here. That's all I'm gonna have in my mind. Boom, let's go. Wow, that's really nice, right? 80% swing, dead straight shot, Jomo, joy of missing out. This is Noki. Noki is the best caddy in the five yard radius. Huh? Blink twice if you need someone to rescue you. Oh, there you are. <laughs> I 
at low handicap level, we're looking for birdies, okay? Let's keep the context real here. If you're going for low handicap golf, your par fives become your opportunities. If you're going for break 90, break 100, your par five become opportunities for pars, and most of the time a bogey. Because of the length of the hole, very often, the handicap index are pretty low on par fives, especially if they're over 500 yards. What are we doing? Am I trying to earn a million dollars on the PGA Tour? Nope. Just let's get the ball in play with an easy to hit club. Going at that red stake, probably leave myself a long shot in. Who cares? One hundred and sixty seven yard shot. And part of our gathering of information is the lie, right? So this lies a little bit below my feet on a bit of scraggly, I guess this is Thai zoysia. No, Japanese zoysia, I'm not really sure. But it's just a little scraggly, right? Yeah, it's nice and tight. Yeah, it's a little scraggly. So how's that going to react? I think I'm probably going to get a little, probably a fader out of this lie. What can we say? What can we say? You got a tip today, girl! The problem to solve here is we've got water that moves toward the left, toward the green. So if you go at the green here, you're going to have to make a beautiful, perfect strike. If you don't, if you duck hook it a little bit, trying to hit it too hard, you're in the water, you're going to drop here, right? Right in front of you, which is really shit. So when you have water like this, which is a full length, you don't go drop it in where it made a splash to the right, because that's cheating. So I'm going to take something to the big fat part of the fairway up on the right side. We'll guarantee clear the water even if I like pull it and that's my mini driver. So I commit to that. I don't think about my four iron. I don't get FOMO. I've got JOMO. I'm missing out on so many things and the joy of that missing out is what helps me to commit to this shot knowing I've made the correct choice. Oh, this one is Bermuda. I loom. I loom. And that's just what I want. And a beautiful... Twenty-one yard shot onto a downslope. It's going to kick off to the right hand side big time because of the big ass slope there and it's downhill so I would normally pitch with a like a pitching wedge or minor but because it's downhill I'm going to increase that loft probably to the 56 degree about six yards way left we're going like a pin and a half to the left hopefully it just comes back in well a bit yippy did you see that but that's pretty good we leave ourselves I don't know what that is I'll measure when I'm up there Seven footer. This is an eight handicap hole. So anyone above a seven handicap, this is a bogey hole. So if we keep that in our mind, we can really let go of a lot of stress, appreciate the joy of missing out of the stress of trying to make a birdie or par on this hole. Easy game. So we've got 172, we're taking our seven iron and the pin's on the left side, but of course we're gonna ignore that. We're gonna go on the right side because it normally pulls a little left. Middle of the green is absolutely money here. If we tug it and get lucky getting close to the pin, we are super lucky boys. This one out far to the left, let it bump down. <laughs> Wow, that's lucky. It got stuck in the grass. And that's just 
money. Go down the hill, go down the hill, go down the hill. Not too bad. Okay, that's beautiful. That's within six feet. Within six feet gives us a great chance at up and down. One from six feet, we're gonna go just on the outside of the cup here. Beautiful. Well, that one went dead at the pin, put it a bit thin, hopefully it flies. Yep, on the green. Absolutely money. So that was luck because I thinned it and I pulled it left. What an easy game. Oh, that's a too low. Need to hit it. Need to hit it, girls. Anyway, we've got another bird, which means today no espresso for me. Little bit of tip for you. Now part of the context we want to remember when we're playing golf is to stay within our ability. What can we do on the day? And we stick to that. I haven't hit a shot that I'm not sure of the entire day. I haven't gone for hard drives. I haven't gone for overextending my iron shots. I haven't done anything that I can't do. Anything that I still need to do, I have to do on the practice green in my long-term goals and bring it to the course when it's ready. I think I actually did hit the speed slot and that's going to be long because it's going to catch the downhill speed slot. Yeah, it didn't get aggressive enough. It didn't get aggressive enough. I need to get it. Hey. Yep. Just out on the left hand side. Really solid strike, maybe the best four of the day. Kind of staying out there, ultra conservative. Okay, a little 52 degree, toe down, onto the down slope. Make sure we get it on the green. Easy gun. Turn, 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 turn. Beautiful day, beautiful day, huh? Don't worry, I don't even need that. I don't even need that. Does it count as a putt? I don't know. See, now I'm thinking about what extra hole I'm going to play because of only 17, they closed hole 10. Now I've got to back away, get back in the shot. Come on, Maddie, at the left hand bunker. Beautiful. See the shot, do the shot. That is horrific, but you know what? We'll get there one day. Right on line, right on line. Well, this is a substitute hole 10 because they've closed it to redo the green. It'll be open again in two weeks. I can't wait for that. So we have to play this one as a substitute. I'm going to play it the same way I would play that one. Um, this is going to be a four iron and probably a nine iron into the green. So beautiful little feather. Get a little slider. Hopefully it carries. Oh. Wow. Yep. I didn't trust the read from that, but that's perfect, Joe.
little 80 percenter, little fat, little perfect. The pin is on the right hand side, cut behind the bunker. 173 to the back, it's 157 to the hole. We've got an uphill lie here. And we've hit it way left, but that is the fat side. And the fat side is all... Okay. Beautiful.